Hi, this is JP Morgan. Today on Sign Lens, we're going to talk about mentors, how to get one, and why you need one. Before the lesson begins, go to thesignlens.com and sign up for our free business coaching call. It's going to be a fabulous opportunity for you to learn the daily routine for success. It's free! I'll wait. Go ahead. Sign up. I'm waiting. I'm good. We won't start the lesson without you. I think there's several reasons why you need a mentor. If you look at a lot of the great successful people in industry, they've had someone that they patterned their lives after. Even Zuckerberg patterned his life after Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs actually mentored him and helped him to get started. I mean, these great people come from great people who have trained them and moved them forward in their careers. If you want to move forward in the career and be the best at what you can do, you need to find a mentor. And there's several reasons why. Number one, you need to find a person who inspires you. Someone you think, they're the best at what they do and I want to be like them and I want to be able to accomplish what they've done. My career got going, I joined APA. I was on the board with Jim Wood and Reed Miles. A lot of these, um, these people that I had looked up to for years. I felt like I was walking with the gods. These were amazing individuals. When I got to photograph Jim Wood, it was like I was scared to death to take a picture of him because he was the man. He was the one that I had looked up to for so many years. Mentors inspire you and give you the desire to be the absolute best you can be. So choose a person who will do that for you. Number two, having a mentor takes the mystique away a little bit. You know, sometimes we look at people who are successful in film, in uh, photography, and you think, my word, they're just amazing. I can never be like that. But when you get around them and they mentor you and they talk about their process, you realize, oh my word, these people are just like anybody else. This is not so difficult. I can think like this. I can work like this. I can accomplish this. I had this experience with my father. My father shot for National Geographic. He shot for all the, all the wildlife magazines. I was around him the whole time I was growing up. I thought, my word, this, this is just a guy who takes pictures. It took that layer away of, this is too hard for you, this is too much for you to accomplish, and it allowed me to think, I can do this. Number three, they have years of experience that otherwise would take you years to gain. So look to them to take advantage of their experience. It'll help you avoid problems that you're going to face in this industry, help you to know the problems before they happen that you don't even know about. They really are people that will help you to be able to avoid issues and situations that will further your career quicker and help you not get bogged down in things that you do not have to deal with. I had a great mentor when I started to do film, David Wilson. He was my first AD. He had been a director, he had been in Hollywood forever, and he would put his arm around, he'd pull me aside and say, you know, uh, JP, maybe you want to do this. Uh, maybe you want to do that. He was always very respectful of me on set, but he was very helpful to me. I always looked at him and think, oh, I'm so thankful for David. He gives me a perspective about the industry that I just don't have. I was a young director, I was just getting started. He was a great help and a strength to me. Number four, you need someone to hold you accountable. This person can play that role in your life of making sure that you meet your goals, making sure that you're working on things, check in with them weekly so that they can say, where are you at? What are you doing? I know a group of very successful businessmen that had mentors that kind of moved them along in their careers, but they got to a point where they're going, they're not sure who to look to anymore. These are multi-million dollar companies, so they mentor each other. They meet, they have a call once a week. They set goals in the call. They hold each other accountable to make sure they met their goals. So a good mentor will hold you accountable. Number five, a good mentor is going to know people that you need to know and help you move up the ladder because of those connections. That person is going to know crew members, going to know suppliers, and is going to know other successful people that will help your career to move forward. I mean, this person is going to have contacts and a network that is way superior to yours because of the number of years they've been in the industry. That network will help you move forward because you can take advantage of the contacts and people that they have. Number six, they're an unbiased opinion about the things that you need to do in your career. So they can look at your work, they can give you an honest critique, they can say you need to get rid of this, you can, should add this, you should go here, you should talk to these people. They really become an honest, unbiased opinion that will help you to, to move forward and help your career. So there's six reasons why you should have a mentor. I hope you see the value and the importance of this. Now let's talk about five different ways you can find this individual. Number one, work for free for someone. You think, that's crazy. It's not crazy. I've had people that come and work for free for me. And when that's done, I'm thinking, I owe them. I want them to be successful. I want to help them. I feel like I, I want to do all I can to help their careers grow. I had one young man who came and worked with me here. And when we were done, I met with him and, and uh, he said, you know, I didn't really learn that much here. I just really didn't. And he went back to college. Well, about two months later, he, go, he called me up and he goes, I am so sorry. I learned so much while I was there. I didn't even understand how much I learned while I was working there. You'll learn a ton working for someone and you'll also connect yourself to them. But you've got to keep that relationship alive after you leave. You've got to continue to call and to, to think about them and to reach out to them and to create a mentoring situation with them. Ask them if you can continue to call and to touch base with them and to help you to be able to grow in your career. 
If you've worked for free with them, most people are going to do that. Number two, a great way to find a mentor is to join a photo club or a video group where this group of people comes together. Look for a place where you can come together with people who are doing the same kinds of things that you're doing and rub shoulders with them. You can identify a person that you would like to mentor yourself after. ASMP, APA, there's a lot of great organizations out there that will help you to find mentors, people that you can pattern your life after and find a connection with. So join those groups. One photographer said through a Facebook group that she connected with online, she found other people doing the same kinds of work that she did and, and eventually identified a photographer that was very successful in this type of genre and she connected with that person, eventually became her mentor, helped her to grow and to progress in her business. Number three, if you're in right now or you've gone to a film or a photo program at a university, your professors there have connections with other graduates. Connect with your professors. Look to work them to help connect you with other graduates who have been very successful in the industry. Let those professors connect you with those successful individuals that have gone through your same program at your same school and those become great mentors. Number four, apply for low-level jobs at places that have high potential. A place that's going to help your career move forward. Even if you're going to be getting coffee, it doesn't matter. I know a very successful individual who walked the dogs of a very successful director and got to know him and got to connect with him and eventually the director started giving him advice and pretty soon it helped his career move forward. So don't be afraid of getting some coffee if it's going to get you a good mentor. Number five, there are conventions going on all over the country all the time. Things like NAB, WPPI, PPA, I mean there's all kinds of things going on all the time. At these conventions they bring in the best in the industry to speak and to make presentations. You'd be smart to volunteer at these conventions. Ask to be assigned to individuals that would be great mentors for you. Try to connect with that individual as you help them at their seminar. Talk to them afterwards. Get their business card. Reach out to them. I've found some great business mentors at conventions just by going up and talking to the individual afterwards and say, look, can I send you an email and ask you about a problem that I'm facing? And they, they respond in that situation. They're in a teaching moment. They want to help and to, and to mentor people. So don't just go and sit there. Connect with the people who are speaking there and do all you can to be able to make a connection with them because it will help your career. So there's five ways to find a mentor. Don't just put this on the back burner and forget about it. This is something you need to make a priority in your career. You need someone to help you grow your business. It's going to save you so much time if you'll find this individual. I can be this individual in your life. I've mentored many photographers and videographers through the years that have gone on to be very successful. We actually have a business coaching class free call where you can call in. I'm going to take questions and answers. I'm going to teach you the daily routine for success. I'm going to help you kind of start this career process. So go to thesignlens.com where you can sign up for our free call, have an opportunity to see what we're going to do in our business coaching class and see if it's right for you. But come join us on our free call. So keep those cameras rolling, keep on clicking. Subscribe to The Slanted Lens. We'll teach you how to run your business. We'll teach you how to take pictures. We'll take out the trash and change the toilet paper. 